Well, since her friends all had one, she had to have one too. A brand new fur coat, but nothing else would do. She said she'd look real classy, and I'd be real proud of her. All I had to do was buy her a fur. Well, I got to thinking how I was going to swing that kind of deal. She knows I can't afford it, and I'm too scared to steal. But the answer, it come to me like a bolt out of the blue. It ran out in front of my car on Highway 62. It's <laughs> a big old German Shepherd. My car he didn't see. He went to doggy heaven, left his fur in my GMC. <laughs> Well, for six weeks I worked on it in the basement every night. It's mostly trial and error, but I finally got it right. I put it in a cornflake box and then I carried it up the stairs to her. You should have seen her smile when I handed her that fur. A big old fur coat. It hung all the way down to her knees. Lately she's complaining and says her closet's plump full of fleas. Well, she don't know that Fido is wrapped around her tight. She's putting on a dog when she goes out at night. Well, she don't know that Fido is wrapped around her tight. She's putting on a dog when she goes out at night. Well, lately she's been real depressed since I backed that over her cat. You'll see her smile real big when I give her that new fur hat. <laughs>